All right, Shalom, 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 beloved ones. Peace and blessings and Shalom to the Torah tribe scattered abroad. But first and foremost, I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, man. And peace and blessings to you, beloved ones, from the new covenant, walking the narrow road. And uh, most definitely, Shalom to the Shadis, man. The virtuous queens, daughters of Zion, the sexy women. A particular type of beautiful woman. All right, we ain't gotta explain it. But uh, I wanted to get Song of Solomon, man, because uh, this you know I like to bring out the elegant side of the scriptures, man. And basically, this is a video or appreciation video of you, uh, beautiful Israelite woman that's keeping your body on point, skincare routine. You can got thick, beloved, slim, thick, some skinny, thin, mm -hmm. man. But, uh, <clears throat> so like, that's my big sister, man. But, uh, yeah, man, like, I'm so happy. I'm not, I'm not capping. I'm, I'm so grateful that the Heavenly Father created Israelite black women when it comes to beauty, bro. Like, I'm not even, like, y'all make everything just, like, better, bro. Not the scallywags and weirdos. And it's crazy because even some of the scallywags be looking amazing. But, I mean, honestly, I don't know, man. But let's 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 be edified, cause uh, everybody wanna stay stuck on not about beauty. And I said, man, come on, man. It's a lock you. Side note for you Gen Xers, bro. These older black women, so called, that were on drugs, pills, and eating pork. Y'all have to understand. You cannot compare a beauty if you were at a dis social and social economical disadvantage. Like, why are we even debating this? Cause some people black women like oh my god bro anyway song of solomon one and one this is solomon's song of songs more wonderful than any other so for the years of life woman man shit, let's get into it kiss me and kiss me again this is a young woman talking for your love is sweeter than wine right nah you being explicit <laughs> how fragrant your cologne man so the scriptures is showing you dudes man women don't like Funky booty pebble. I'm talking about fine ass women. They, they don't like funky booty pebble weed. Uh, non emotional, non romantic ass weirdos, man. Like that's that's not play at all, bro. Yeah, like y'all like them little weirdos and emo girls, whatever. But anyway, no wonder all the young women love you. So she know the beloved one, the king, man. Cause like I said earlier, if it was up to me, I'm taking care of all my women to myself. I'm very possessive, man. I want to make a lot of babies, man. So, she said, take me with you. Come, let's run. The king has brought me into his bedroom, man. And you know what? We giving her that intense pleasure, knocking down doonies, man. With your wife, man. That love good. That love good, man. Young women of Jerusalem, how, how, how happy we are for you, O king. We praise your love even more than wine. For Song of Solomon 1 and 5. How right they are to adore you, man. All right, so I had a woman, an older woman. One of them said, I was going to have a hard time keeping the shawties off of me. Then, uh, it was another sister. She talking about the ladies love you. Hey, that's how you know you're royalty, man. Not thotties and, and, and uh, bougie weirdos for you future ass niggas, man. I ain't talking about y'all either. But she said, I am dark but beautiful, right? For you beautiful so-called black women out there, man. The, the fine ones. The Bernice Burgos, too. But all women of Jerusalem. Dark as the tent of Kedar. Dark as the curtains of Solomon's tent, man. So she's telling you she's dark-skinned and beautiful. Damn, dark chocolate booty. Don't stare at me because I am dark. The sun has darkened my skin, man. Melanin. My brothers were angry with me. They forced me to care for their vineyards so I couldn't care for myself, my own vineyard. Tell me, my love, where are you leading your flock today? Where will your rest or you rest your sheep at noon? For why should I wander like a prostitute, man? She didn't want to be a hoe among your friends and their flocks, man. So she wasn't with the team. She wasn't a groupie. <laughs> okay. 
I know some of the women like what this dude crazy. First song, song of Solomon one and eight. The young man, right? This is a song. If you don't know, oh, almost beautiful woman, follow the trail of my flock and graze your young goats by the shepherd's tents. You are as exciting, my darling, as a mare among Pharaoh's stallions. Right? How lovely are your cheeks, man. <laughs> Hey, what the scriptures say, the beauty of a woman cheereth up, cheereth up the countenance, man. Your earrings set them afire. Like I always say, bro, I love like big hoops. You know what I mean? It just it just looks so amazing. And it just damn, it just exudes like royalty and regalness, man. How lovely is your neck enhanced by a string of jewels. Why do y'all think when a woman, when she's uh, sexually attracted to you, I know from experience, they'll, uh, no matter what age, they'll try to, you know, expose their neck because women have, uh, it's, be it's a beautiful thing. Their sensitive parts, their neck, the teats, inside of the thighs, um, I'm missing one. I think, obviously, the, the vagina, but was it like her stomach or something like that? I don't know. If I, I'm missing one. But um, we will make for you earrings of gold and beads of silver. See, that's a total shot. The king is lying on his couch, enchanted by the fragrance of my perfume. See that? Why you think some women, I don't know if y'all beloved has experienced, experienced this, but when a woman is trying to get you latch, latched onto her, she will wear a like specific... Uh, perfume or it'll be a specific smell so you can remember her man it's total it's total love language bro like it's something cold a beautiful intricate thing that the heavenly father created in our subconscious man my lover is like a sacket of myrrh lying between my breasts right myrrh smells amazing but she said it's lying between my breasts see that oh in between her breasts well yeah that yeah he is like a bouquet of sweet henna blossoms, man. Not weed and drink, bro. From the vineyards of Engedi. Young man, how beautiful. Young man, how beautiful are you? You are, so, my darling Salaki. How beautiful. Your eyes are like doves. The young woman, she said, you are so handsome, my love. Pleasing beyond words. The soft grass is our bed, man. She want to. Get it in. Get, she want to make love, man. Huh? In righteousness, though. It says, fragrant cedar branches are the beams of our house. And pleasant smelling firs are the rafters. See that? So let's see how Solomon described this beautiful Israelite woman. All right. Now, I am the spring crocus blooming on the Sharon Plain, the lily of the valley. The young man said, like a lily among thistles is my is my darling among young women. So a lily among thistles, what's that like thorns and like sticker bugs and stuff? But she's a shouter. All right. Sweet, harmonious, aspiration, wonderful, trustful, youthful. You can put it in, in a different acronym. Song of Solomon 2 and 3. Like the finest apple tree. In the orchard is my lover among other men. What the scriptures say? If there be meekness and kindness in her tongue, then is her husband not like other men. We don't hang around you dudes, man. That's why I'm on Shawty Island. Just like Luffy with Amazon Lily. We are, I'm taking care of all of them. And we're going to like, build this new covenant. See that? I sit in his delightful shade and taste his delicious fruit, man. He escorts me to the banquet hall. It's obvious how much he loves me. See that? What's that song? Uh, my girl, my girl, she loves me. That was like 2010, something like that. Yeah. But strengthen me with raisin cakes. Refresh me with apples, man. For I am weak with love, man. Ooh. His left arm is under my head. And his right arm embraces me, man. When you pull it. Hey, what Pretty Ricky say? Can I get a little closer, baby? See, that's the vibe that I'm getting in this scripture. Cause I used I used to teach that this was talking about uh Solomon's relationship with Yahweh, but 
I'm reading it and it sounds like an actual woman. Promise me, O women of Jerusalem, by the by the gazelles and the wild deer, not to awaken love until the time is right, man. Hey, what pretty Rick can say, he gonna get you right. Ah, I hear my lover coming. He is leaping over the mountains, bounding over the hills. Those of you who ran track and field, you know what bounding is. You know how they you know how they triple jump? Bro, and this also proves in a righteous way. In a, in a so-called primal sense, man, I believe Israelite women, especially especially the sexy ones, they love very very handsome athletes because when you look at the old covenant with the men of valor and with the warriors, and then having a high sex drive, the whole thing is complete. So it makes sense why they love that. But Yahweh Shai, he has to open their eyes to understand that, and that's something I always felt when I was like a baby too, man, because. Dude, I remember, it wasn't even just old girl. I think it was Aubrey. It was Aubrey. It was Summer Walk. No, what's her, what's her? Summer Williams. That was her name, man. Calling me daddy and stuff, bro. I'm like, damn. I'm like 13, 14. But it makes sense, man. And I feel like royalty. And I ain't gonna lie. You a real man. Why do you want attention from other dudes? Unless it's your family, but anyway, let me, let me let me keep going. My lover is like a is like a swift gazelle, right? He fast, man. He fast. He ain't just no. He not no uh, banana pudding eating person, man. Or a young stag. Look, there he is behind the wall, looking through the window, peering into my room. My lover said to me, "Rise up, my darling. Come away with me, All right? My fair one. He he beautiful. Look." The winter is past and the rains are, are over and gone. The flowers are springing up. The season of singing birds has come. So she elegant with it. She loves her beauty. But she has the salt. Right? She got that golden spirit to understand this. And the cooing of turtle doves fill the air, man. So she ready for... Uh, she's using nature to appeal to the beloved senses, man. But you got to be in a specific vibration because... When you have these jobs or when you're dealing with stress and all this other stuff, you don't really have the time to enjoy this, man. This is why I believe uh, Grape Drink, he made up all these jobs and a lot of nonsense because they talk directly to Satan, man. And they got everybody thinking, if you ain't, if you talking about love making, you're not in the truth. No, we finna bring out the balance of the scriptures. Vibes, man. The young man said, my, my dove is hiding behind the rocks, behind on behind an outcrop on the cliff. Let me see your face. Let me hear your voice. For your voice is pleasant, man. When she speak, he get happy. And your face is lovely, man. Damn. Young women of Jerusalem, catch all the foxes, those, those little foxes, before they ruin the vineyard of love, where the grapevines are blossoming. The young woman said... Oh, that's the young women. That's the pl oh oh. We got oh we got all of them. Young woman, my lover is mine and I am his man. He browses among the lilies, before the dawn breezes. Blow in the night, shadows flee. Return to me, my love, like a gazelle or a young stag on the rugged mountains. So, when a woman she wants you to get close to her, man. She wants you to be in her presence. Mm hmm. Now it gets very romantic. So she wants to be intimate. She wants to, you know, be vulnerable. And it's such a pleasurable thing beyond measure. And you know, us Israelites, we love sex, man, and righteousness. It's a gift of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And it's crazy how in Song of Solomon 3 and 1, right, it says, One night as I lay in bed, I yearn for my lover. So for those of you single women, you probably crushing on somebody, all right? I yearned for him, but he did not come. See that? It's not good to be alone, baby. So I said to myself, I will get up and roam the city, searching in all the streets and squares. I will search for the one I love. So I searched everywhere, but did not find him. So if you, uh, if the Lord blesses you with an eye shot that's for you, and you come across the situation, man, that's a beautiful thing because y'all can actually be happy for eternity, man. And, um, Live in, live in authentic, 
authentic life as well. Where am I at, man? Verse 3. The watchmen stopped me as they made their rounds, and I asked, Have you seen the one I love? Then scarcely had I left them when I found my love. I caught and held him tightly. Then I brought him to my mother's house. Into my mother's bed, man. So it's not a sin to desire being in the bed with a woman. It's common sense. But when you have false prophets, and for you Israelite women who might come across this video, especially some of y'all, like y'all got to. Y'all got to grow out of uh, that that limited mindset, man. I mean, whether you're 15, 14, or 44, whatever, y'all, you humans have, uh, y'all don't know how to enjoy beauty and just vibe with it. Like, y'all just kind of be in your own little world. But this is why everything has to be separated. But anyway... was crazy song of solomon three and eight they are all skilled swordsmen experienced warriors not uh wicked minions and cowards right evil cowards man each wears a sword on his thigh ready to defend the king against an attack in the night right these are righteous warriors let me see man when you go to Song of Solomon 4, now this is a black woman he's talking about, by the way. We just read it read it in the first chapter. You are beautiful, my darling, beautiful beyond words. Your eyes are like doves behind your veil. Your hair falls in waves like a flock of goats winding down the slopes of Gilead. Your teeth are as white as sheep, recently shorn and freshly washed, man. Shout it. Your smile is flawless. Each tooth match with his twin. Your lips, right? The smooches are like scarlet ribbon. Your mouth is inviting. Beautiful thing, man. Thinking about uh being intimate with your with your girl. But your cheeks are like rosy pomegranates behind your veil. Your neck, right, is as beautiful as the Tower of David. Damn. Jeweled with the shields of a thousand heroes. She got a strong, beautiful neck. Your breast, right, the beautiful double Ds on her chest are like two fawns. The twin fawns of a gazelle grazing among the lilies. So one thing about real authentic women, they love to feel beautiful. That's like, I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't like this weird druggy vibration, this gang vibration, this uh, damn dry Seinfeld vibration, all this weirdo stuff. I don't care about any of it, any of it. And there's levels to this, man. Because the woman you in love with, she understands that her breasts are for you. Right? And when she, I'm going to be honest with you, when, when she see your, your loins and you virl down there and you in shape, she, trust me, she, she, she can lose control, man. And it's a beautiful thing. And I feel like this is why the beauty of the battle of sex, you have concupiscence and you have righteous sex. You know, as brothers, some of us, we have common sense. Our sisters, we're like, damn, okay, if we have children, a lot of children, we got to have money, got to have this. Just imagine if we would have kept the commandments, we would have all the resources, we would have had an abundance of things. So we could have been having lots of sex and lots of children and still having the resources. But even in this day, it's kind of like you got to work either over time just to have the finances and that and it's common sense because you don't want your your wife or your husband or your children to be you know but those are things to think about but your breasts are like too fine so like i said uh, one time an old girl like she wore this tight black shirt because she wanted to show how beautiful her breast was and it was very beautiful all right twin fawns of a gazelle grazing among the lilies all right so he compared her body to like animals or something with nature. It's poetic. Before the dawn breezes blow and the night shadows flee, I will hurry to the mountain of myrrh and to hill into the hill of frankincense. Frankincense, you are altogether beautiful. She's complete, my darling. Beautiful in every way. So, man, they're going to the lips. Damn, dude, he said. 
Your lips are as sweet as nectar, my bride. Honey and milk are under your tongue. Your clothes are scented like the cedars of Lebanon. She don't stink. She not dirty. She not a dirty skank. Okay. Your thighs. Ooh. Your thighs shelter a paradise of pomegranates with rare spices henna with nard, man. So the King James in the Hebrew, the thighs, man. What? Your shoots? Oh, Lord. But it says sprout, shoot. Let's see what that means. Branch. Hmm. Shoot of growth. That sound like when you sprout, it sound like something with a uh, with like seed or something. Of a sun. Let me see. Because in the translation that I just read, it says your thighs. Wow. Let me see, man. Now, look how the beautiful woman, look how she adores and appreciates and, and just becomes vulnerable for her, man. And uh, I had a beautiful chocolate sister, man. Beautiful brown buns, beautiful legs. Just, I mean, she got ex eczema, but I can see past it. Like, it's levels to this, man. But uh, she told me one of my best features is, is my lips. And she said, oh, I'm very confident. I was like, damn, like my lips. That means you think about it. You think about smooching and damn. But it's all good, man. Song of Solomon 5 and 9. Why is your lover why is your lover better than all others? O oh, woman of rare beauty. What makes your lover so special that we must promise this? Song of Solomon 5 and 10. The young woman said, My lover is dark and dazzling, better than ten thousand others, man. So this this is clearly a so called black man. Because ruddy, as we just read, it goes into dark in the translation. Now, dazzling means he, he has a glow. He's clear. He's bright. He's not a dark weirdo that stink, man. To be dazzling, to glow. What, we, what I always say, man, where the, where the glow at, man? This ain't for you damn G.I. Joe. And uh, ain't be a young boy type dudes either. Y'all think masculine is always being an asshole and all this other bland shit. Man, nobody care about that. Oh, how's that going to get you money? It's like, man, y'all are so chronic, beloved. But for the shawties. And I, hey, on the chronic, let me, let, me, let me put this out there. For, for any woman that come across this video, I wish it was a way. I think it is. I literally want to buy a house. I want to keep the law, Exodus 21 and 10. I want to give my wife the most pleasurable form of intimacy sex, but she got to be in order. And we all going to make mistakes, but I want it to be natural again, just like how it was back in the day. We were growing up. I'm not with this new age nonsense. I'm not with the confusion, man. And, uh, hell, I got big teeth, but I mean, we all got flaws, but I ain't even tweaking on that. But I just got to put that out there because, uh, before I leave this earth, man, I, I always wanted something deep like that, man. I want to have a so-called job or occupation where I can make easy, good money. I want to be able to run like super fast, still work out, all that stuff, and make it into the kingdom of heaven. I want to have a lot of babies, man. I ain't going to cap a lot of beautiful women in the new covenant. But I don't know. But listen, Song of Solomon 5 and 11, his head is fine as gold. His wavy hair is black as a raven. And you know how when Jake, when we cut our hair, we can actually get those waves too, man, when you brush it. His eyes sparkle like doves, man. He don't got a dark, killer, murder ass vibration. That goes for those wicked women. Besides springs of water, they are set like jewels, washed in milk. His cheeks are like gardens of spices, giving off fragrance, man. He don't stink. His lips are like lilies, not crusty. And full of cigar and tar, man. Perfume with myrrh. His arms are like rounded bars of gold, man. The beloved built, set with a burl. Oh, they like muscular man. What? His body is like bright ivory. His body, man. So a woman looking at your six pack, eight pack, your chest, 
your uh, trapezoids, biceps, um, your loins, your legs, toes, everything. It's, it's a beautiful thing. His body, wait, my bad. His legs, right? When you track stars and you football stars, when you be, you know how you, you know how you be squatting, man, and whatever. You feel a little strong. Look what the shawty said. The daughter of Zion. She said his legs are like marble pillars. Right? Go look at a pillar or like a Roman pillar. It's, it's stout. Okay, she's feminine, you're masculine. And why do you think it ties into the bedroom? Because it's it all makes sense. But the problem is it's a lot of you know trust issues and adultery. I understand that, but this is why we got to bring our balance in the scriptures, man. But again, this video is for you, for the beautiful women. Now, his posture is stately, like the noble cedars of Lebanon. Did she say he was a, a so-called uh, bully or a damn so-called alpha male, whatever? His mouth is sweetness itself. He is desirable in every way. Such a woman of Jerusalem is my lover, my friend. See that? So I want to get this before I got like 10 minutes, man. But Song of Solomon 7 and 1. How beautiful are your sandals feet, O queenly maiden. Your rounded thighs are like jewels. The work of a skilled craftsman, man. Your rounded thighs. Bro. It says the curves. The curving. Like I always said before, your joints. Of your hips, it goes into a thigh, right? The procreative power, sexual power, generative power, man. Loins, generative parts. It's talking about your beautiful vagina, man. Your beautiful spirit, all that. You can have it in the physical and in the spirit, man. It's common sense. Jewels, man. It's it's, a, it's an of an artist, a master workman. Who created these women, man? The Most High. All right. Your navel is perfectly formed like a goblet filled with mixed wine. Between your thighs lies a mound of wheat bordered with lilies. You see that? Your breasts are like two fawns, twin fawns of the gazelle. So he had to. Then you go to verse five. So like a Song of Solomon 7 and 5 in the NOT version. Your head is as majestic as Mount Carmel. And the sheen or the shine of your hair radiates royalty. Queen, damn, she fine. I ain't talking about you thirsty ninjas. This is only for the real and special vibration. Okay. The king is held captive by his tresses. Song of Solomon seven and six. Oh, how beautiful you are! How pleasing, my love! How full of delights you are! Slender like a palm tree. So not only did, not only did she have curvy thighs and a beautiful booty, right? She said you are like, he said you are like, you are slender like a palm tree and your breasts are like his clusters of fruits, bro. Damn, it's beautiful, man. All right. So it comes to the point in time where you just, you just got to be, you got to be smooth, man. And uh, let's see, curve, the circuit of our thighs, let's see the knobs. It was, um, hold on, it's so like, yeah. What the heck? Oh, hips. So hips, I think the... It goes into the thigh, the hunch. It says buttocks, man. Y'all see that? Buttocks. So it goes into her booty, all right? Why you think a lot of beautiful black women, what they try to, what do they try to entice us with? Their booty cheeks, man, because they know what we like. But we have to teach them how to um, be a shouty, be a beloved one, all right? If they're righteous. See that? It says, man, the double thick. No, nah, I said skinny thin. And that's that's the standard of beauty. The double thick and fleshly member extending from the bottom of the spine to the legs. I.E. our example, the two thighs with the booty, man. The socket of the thigh where the thighs join to the pelvis. Y'all go into history. They studied black women's bodies, man. Israelite women's. All right. Which, uh, damn, then he, he brought up the mandrakes in the 13th verse. Hold on, beloved. 
Yeah, and you go to the word mandrakes. A mandrake is a love apple or an aphrodisiac as exciting sexual desire and favoring procreation, clapping cheeks, making a lot of babies. Like Miracle says, she want to have a lot of sex with her husband, man. See that? She actually said that. I ain't making this shit up. But, uh, that's crazy. I was going to web search, man. Aphrodisiac, a food or drink that stimulates its sexual desire, man. See that? So that's all in the scriptures, man. All in the scriptures. But, uh, I wanted to bring that out because this was a, a appreciation, appreciation, man. But there's a lot of women who's beautiful and they keep themselves up. And even for the ones who look how they look, man, straight up. But Song of Solomon 8 and 10, she said, I was a virgin like a wall. Now my breasts are like towers, man, because women in their innocence, they know, you know, men, they love the, they love how, we love how beautiful it's shaped and how, uh, how just peculiar it is. It's something, the Lord put something in our, in our brain, man, just to, I mean, even Gentiles know this too, but when my lover looks at me, he is delighted with what he sees, man. Why do you think women are dressing half naked in my generation, bro? Or even back then. But especially now, why do you think they're dressing half naked, a lot of them? Because they want the, the attention of uh, the men, even the married women. But this is the righteous way. See that? So she, she loves how uh, she's developed, man. That's why the the young woman's brothers, she said they said we have a little sister, too young to have breast. What will we do for our sister if someone asks to marry her? So, man. Anyways, that was a beautiful. Uh, that was Song of Solomon, beloved ones. All right. So I wanted to bring this out for an appreciation appreciation lesson, and to let y'all know, as long as it's not adultery, fornication, um. Acknowledging beauty as long as you're not lusting after men's wives or whatever the case may be. I mean, just be a man. 44%, 104, man. 144. But y'all will love us be easy, man. And for the shouties, the daughters of Zion, Sarah or Israel, daughters of Yahweh, whatever you want to say. Shout out to y'all, man. But uh, peace and blessings and shalom.